Hey everybody, Logan here. And you know what we're doing here. Yeah, that's... We're... Unboxing... The Switch OLED. So we're gonna open this up. We are going to compare it to the standard Switch. Now, what I'm also going to do is do a transfer from this to this. This is my standard portable switch, which it's really sad that I'm going from my red one, which I wanted so much to have the full red switch. So this one's going to be one that's going to just sit in the room. The only reason I'm doing a transfer for this one is because this has my Animal Crossing one. This is the one that I bring uh, with me the most that's portable outside my Switch Lite. So I'm going to be doing the data transfer from this to this, but I'm still gonna be using that Switch in another room. So this is going to be my, my standard <laughs> portable Switch outside of my Switch Lite. Depending on where I go or what I do, I'll bring my Switch Lite. If I wanna play my Animal Crossing, since we know they're tethered to one system, it's gonna be this one. So this is gonna be the one I'm going to uh, basically take with me the most, uh, unless I wanna play something new, like an RPG or something. Usually if I play RPGs, it's on the Switch Lite. It's funny, I, I don't know why, it just feels like the, the 3DS or DS or Game Boy Advance. It, I always felt like since Golden Sun, that's where I should play them, I don't know. So we're gonna open this one up. We're gonna take a look, we're gonna do all that fun stuff, and yeah, let's stop jabbering on and get into it. Welcome to Red Bandana Gaming, the channel where Logan will show you everything. From gameplay to gear, their crew is here, to take you on a journey through every atmosphere. Releases to news, you don't have to choose, Red Bandana Gaming is Okie dokie. There we go. That is my Switch OLED. There we go. Let's zoom in a little bit. Okie dokie. There it is. Boxed. Oh wait, we're opening it. That's right. Now, unlike most of the products we've been opening on this channel, this, and if you've owned a Switch before, does not have any tape. So we're good. Easily opened. Wow, whoops. Fancy. Not, not really. So let's, here, let's do the Joy-Cons first. Yeah, they're pretty much the same. Now, I already have a set of blue and red because that was my wife's original Switch. She had them in blue and red, and then we got the Animal Crossing, and then she replaced her Switch with a gray one because the initial ones... I, I, I forget what why I have one with red and blue. You know what? I think it was the... No, I don't know why, but I have an extra set of Joy-Cons, and now I have too many, so I might just trade these in or whatnot, or... Or trading the old ones. I don't know. These are the new ones. They might have that thing with the anti-drift or whatnot. But... Now, there's a little, a, a little tidbit. Wow, this actually feels slightly bit heavier than the original. Ooh. Now, 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 now. Listen to me. Listen to me, good. This screen is glass, and that's a gorgeous screen compared to the original. Or, like I said, we're gonna. Uh, take a look. There is a screen protector on here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it comes pre-installed. Nintendo says do not take these off. Whatever you do, do not take the screen protector off. The screen protector is designed since the screen is glass. If it hits the ground or if it shatters, it keeps it from going into a thousand million little pieces. So besides protecting it from scratches, it protects it from shattering. So do not take the screen protector off. Ooh, oh, that is... Okay. Oh, and the front's all glossy, too. That's nice. I don't know if you guys can see that. Front's glossy. The back... Ooh, okay. So, 
Oh, it does have that. Oh, it's like a surface. It's like my surface. Wow, it has that nice hinge too. That's a surface hinge if I've ever seen one myself. Let's take a closer look. Yeah. That's a nice. Yeah, and it actually feels more durable. The vents are different, yes. Yes, yes. You got, here, let's zoom in, let's clarify. All right, the buttons are different. Well, at least the power button is. Top vents are solid. Now, one thing people have been saying is this. If you don't have a fingernail, okay, that wasn't too bad. Okay, that's not that bad. And then the memory card slot was underneath here. There you go, it goes in sideways. Type C, yeah, this actually feels heavier and sturdier. So, let's take that, we're gonna put that there. We're going to pop off the Joy-Con here. And we're going to start with the bottom. So the bottom is pretty much identical, but one thing you can see, this switch is slightly bit longer. So this might make, oh wow, that is a big difference. Feels like it's thinner too. Not by much, but you can see the difference in the top. Slightly bit longer. Hmm. So these are the two switches, and you can see you can definitely see the difference in the screen. Now this one has a larger bezel and it's actually grayish, where this one's absolute black. So let me start this up. I'm going to do all my login information, all that good stuff and then we will compare it visually to switches. All right, so I got them both set up. I had to log in, I'm downloading because I'm going to be transferring my Animal Crossing from here to here. That's why I have it set up this way. But as you guys can see, the difference between screen size is pretty drastic. Um, they're both on absolute full brightness. This, uh, this, this is my chosen setup to have it in in dark mode but it's not really black dark mode is really just a dark gray so just by looking at the screens i'm trying to zoom in as as far as i can without actually distorting uh the image or what you're seeing and i think they're the difference is remarkable so i'm going to Install a few games on here. As you can see, I'm installing Crisis because can't run Crisis. <laughs> and then Cruise and Blast because of the, the colors. And then I always like having the, the Konami games on here just because see how it displays uh, retro style games. And I will install the NES and Super NES uh, Switch Online games. Uh, my Angry uh, Video Game Nerd uh, 1 and 2 Deluxe because I consistently play that. Animal Crossing. Here you have a lot more on this one. I have all kinds of games, but these are going to be the ones that I play pretty much all the time. So, once these finish downloading, uh, we'll install uh, the Animal Crossing and then compare the two on each console and just see which one looks best and then we'll do a little play and and then test and see what they look like individually on here uh, i heard doom 
a Doom Eternal or Doom 2016. Doom 2016 is a really good one to test, uh, but I do not have that on Switch. So sadly, we are going to go with Crisis. So hold on to your butts. Let's see how this turns out. Okay, so one thing is, I feel that the camera does not do it justice, but the speakers are fantastic. They blow you away compared to the originals. Now, I did have to plug it in to do all the, the transfer. That is loud. Look how gorgeous that is. Ooh. That speaker alone is, from my understanding, they moved them. You can see they're a bit larger there compared to there. And they moved them down just slightly. So the speakers are here on the regular switch. And on this one, I don't know if you can see it because the all black, they're right there. But wow. Yeah, let me move my tripod out of the way. I, I decided to use, um, <laughs> uh, just just hold it because I the, the tripod just wasn't getting a good angle in my opinion. That screen is just gorgeous. You can see it's all glass. Yes, and my island is called New Poops. Now I did remove the memory card. The memory card from this one is now in here. I only have a 64 gig because I, I only play a handful of games. I might pick up a large one. My my main switch, I think my switch light has a 512. Wow. Just let's see if I can just boot up something. Okay, because I have it on card. Oh well. All right, let's pick a game that both have, and then we will look at that as well. And then after this, uh, we'll take a look at the dock. Okay, so we've got a little issue. Not realizing that since both have the same account, majority of these games are digital, and I don't have multiple copies of any of the games that I would like to show you. Yeah, I can't, I can't compare them at the same time. But we're going to take a look at... Uh, uh, AVGN. Do, 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 do. Yes, I am playing this game on easy. It's stupid hard, sue me. Do, do. Do, do, do. That just looks gorgeous. So, I, I wish I could show you guys a bit more comparison, but like I said, unfortunately, I can't even do that because I don't have the same games. But there we go. Uh, Crisis is taking a little longer than I expected to download, so that's why I chose those two with the bright, vibrant colors. Uh, yeah, this is, this is a fantastic system. Uh, you can really see the difference in the bevel when you put them right up next to each other. You see the bevel... You got the edge here, you got the edge there, and the bevel is huge and super tiny. Yeah, 7 inch compared to 6.2 inch. So next I'm going to switch my Joy-Con, and now we're going to open up the dock and take a look at that. So, box. It did make cable. Power Kaboo Grip and Yeah, I'm holding the camera with one hand because it made it a pain in the butt with the, with the tripod, so just bear with me. Alrighty, so that's the dock. 
You've got the rounded edges. You've got a glossy inside. Wow, that's super glossy. I wonder if they did that to help prevent from scratches or something like that. Don't know. But the Switch logo is much tinier. Yeah. Still got the USB. So that's the back. Now, one thing I've seen with the back... If you slip your hand in here like this... I don't want to break anything. Yeah, okay. It just pops off. So that's the back. So it doesn't fold down or anything, I guess, to make it easier. It doesn't get in the way. And then you can still have everything loose there when you have everything connected. You got the AC adapter, the HDMI, the LAN port. You got new ventilation. Otherwise, everything else looks the same. Hmm. So, from my understanding, that LAN port isn't just for uh, local area network. Haha. <laughs> just to get a better connection, but to update features within the dock. So we'll see when time comes. But if from what we're trying to do, sorry about that. I just did that off camera. There we go. That is your new dock. Now let us dock the swish. We will. Oh, it fits in there. Hmm. It goes in much smoother than the original one. Yeah. Let's dock the original switch in here and see how it feels. Same thing. Now it's a little looser. That switch is a little looser. Yeah, it feels a little looser in the dock. The the standard switch. Sorry about that. The standard switch than this one. Um, not sure why, but from my understanding, this works just fine in that. Uh, and there you guys go. Uh, the switch, OLED, feels like it's getting a bit hotter than this one. We might need to take a look into that in a future video or something like that. But there you go. There is the transfer there's the setup there's the I, I wish i could show you a bit more on the the screens but everything transferred now the transfer isn't the same as like if you're doing a full transfer because i'm still using this one so it just asks you to log into your switch that's it and then you download the transfer data from the animal crossing if you're going to do that the the app and that's it everything else you just re-download and download your saves from the cloud so there you guys go. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Be glad to answer them. Uh, I know not every step of the setup uh, managed to make it into the video. But that's because there was a lot of things with the count and login and stuff like that. But again, like I said, this is this was a little different than the Switch Lite one. The Switch Lite one was open up the box, put it next to each other. Boom, there it goes. Uh, yeah. This was pretty simple. It was just looking at all the, the the ins and outs of the Switch. I don't think I missed anything. I think I covered everything. Again, if I missed something, you guys have a question, let me know. Uh, otherwise, it's still just your standard Nintendo Switch with just a much better screen, better speakers, better built body. It's a bit larger. Uh, I will end up taking a look, maybe do a video on it later down the line. To see what accessories from the original switch work with the the oled since the size is different we're gonna have to see how that uh pans out in the future but thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't already make sure you hit that like button hit that subscribe button share this video and comment right down below tell me what you guys think um yeah do you think it's worth it i think it's worth it for 50 dollars more that screen's gorgeous and yeah, make sure you head on to our uh, spring shop, link in the description below, where you can get all kinds of great red bandana gaming merchandise. Follow us on our socials. Again, subscribe. Like we always say, be legendary. Thanks again.